Hello beauties and welcome to my channel. It's Sonia Verardo here from trenchcollection.com fashion and beauty blog. Today's video is super exciting for me because I'm doing another collab video and this one is collaboration with All The Beauty with Lori. She actually invited me to be a guest to do a collab with her in her segment what I'm liking and not so much. As I personally love watching those videos on her channel I thought, yeah, it's going to be super fun to film this video in collaboration with you uh, also because I haven't done a monthly favorites in ages so I do have a bunch of things that I wanted to show you that I'm using on a daily basis that I cannot live without and there are few bits that I'm not loving so much so I thought it's going to be a great opportunity to just feature these products as well and tell you uh, why was I left disappointed. Um, if you're new to my channel I want to wish you the warmest welcome. I'm really happy that you are here. Uh, I hope you will enjoy watching my videos. Feel free to comment and leave me your requests. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And uh, if you have been following me for a longer time you will know that we have different background here today. Uh, actually I am working on redecorating my home so we are purchasing some bits and pieces for our home decor and also a little bit of new furniture so we are including all that in a vlog that's coming up. I will have a link to uh, the vlog where we went furniture shopping down below in case you want to see it. It's usually a weekend vlog that I'm doing when I'm posting those contents of my daily life in Italy. Anyway, let's get started because I have a bunch of things to show you. I will obviously start from the goodies that I am absolutely loving. I did not want to include fashion items because the video would be just too long. So let's just concentrate on the beauty. So first thing I'm absolutely loving, loving, loving is this Ziaya body cream. It's cocoa butter body lotion and oh my god this smells heavenly. I was uh, recommended this cream by one of my uh, friends in Croatia. She was actually using this uh, in summertime as a body lotion even at the beach and uh, it has such an amazing scent even my hubby adores it I use it even as a hand cream and I will be stocking up on this because uh, you cannot actually get it here in Italy you can get it in Croatia it's Polish brand so I usually get it at my local drugstore let's talk about some hair care products now I've been absolutely in love with this Bad Head by TG Color Goddess uh, Oil Infused Shampoo for Colored Hair. Now this is very delicate shampoo, it will really nourish your hair, it's super hydrating and it's such a pleasure to use it because it has got such an amazing scent you guys. Uh, it's infused with nourishing sweet almond oil, coconut oil and keratin um, and to me it smells like caramel in my beauty products I adore almond scent, I love coconut, cocoa butter, uh, vanilla. Those are my favorite scents when it comes to beauty products and I love this. Plus it leaves your hair super silky and shiny and just beautiful looking. When talking about products that make your hair super beautiful, I need to include this product here. It's Kerastase Elixir K Ultim. And I have been using this product throughout years. When it first came on the market, I actually purchased it and I did a review on it. And let me tell you, I keep repurchasing this product. It is a little bit more expensive, but really it's super concentrated. It's such luxurious soil. It will last you a long time. Even though my hair is super long, it really will last you a long time because you only need a couple of drops of this product um, and just apply it on your lengths and ends. And uh, yeah, amazing, luxurious oil, very rich, very nourishing. It won't leave your hair oily or greasy. It will just absorb perfectly. It's weightless in your hair. It will just beautify it. And the way this smells, it's so luxurious scent. It's like high-end scent. A lot of uh, people compare this to Tom Ford Black Orchid. Now, I don't have this particular perfume, but um, this is what people usually compare this. Too. so it's I don't know it's definitely my favorite 
hair care product. Another oil that I'm absolutely obsessed with is Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Spray. And uh, after using this product, I truly feel as if though I just went out of the hair salon because my hair just smells so luxurious and it's so soft to the touch and so manageable, so beautiful. And this one comes in a spray version, so you're just supposed to vaporize it on your hair, just a couple of spritz and it's enough. Next hair care product that I'm loving is actually this hairspray and it's by L'Oreal El Net Setting. Now L'Oreal El Net Setting hairspray is a hairspray I've been using for years now um, because it's very nice. It does have a perfect hold but it won't uh, make your hair sticky or greasy and you can actually eliminate it very very easily just by brushing it out and yeah i just love it and they came up with this new line at least here in italy it's a new line so this one in particular is for dry hair and it has argan oil extracts it's this uh, like purple violet one and it's just amazing i love the scent i love what it does to my hair what else can i say at least try it out guys we are moving on to some makeup products i have a whole some makeup products i have a whole bunch of them to show you so let me first start from my Too Faced um, Sweethearts bronzer in Sweet Tea this is Baked Luminous Glow bronzer and you guys already saw me featuring this bronzer in many of my makeup tutorials um, and in my haul and whatnot because since I purchased this one um, I haven't been using anything else I haven't been even using a blush I'm just using this bronzer and I'm in love with it uh, I will be doing a separate review and demo to show you how this product looks like up close and uh, just, you know, how I apply it on my face. Yeah, next product is a highlighter. I love my highlighters and you guys often tell me that I'm glowing in my videos. Well, it's actually because of illumination and because of highlighters and yes, uh, I am pregnant. So it might be because of my pregnancy too. Uh, because I feel my skin is um, so beautiful in my pregnancy, really, I wasn't expecting that, but it is. But anyway, I'm loving my highlighters, so one of my favorite is MAC, and this is Soft and Gentle. And guys, since I purchased this one, and it's been, I don't know, maybe even a year since I purchased this one, I have been using nothing but this one as my highlighter. Well, I have been using some others too but like on top or in combination with this one but this one is the one that I'm using like every single day and I applied on my cheekbones and just on the top of my cheekbones to accentuate them and then on the bridge of my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow if I want to achieve the effect of more accentuated upper lip um, and then a little bit on my forehead. You can also use it as your eyeshadow, like for a quick everyday all over the lids look. Yeah, perfect. And the next highlighter that I'm loving is something that I've had in my collection for years now. And it's actually a liquid highlighter. I rediscovered it a couple of months ago and I was like, it's such an amazing product. I have to start using it more frequently. So now I'm using it every single day. And it's Secret Potion Radiant Skin in a Flesh by Red Earth Cosmetics. Now they don't sell Red Earth anymore here in Italy. I don't know if it's a discontinued brand or what. And this one is in a shade Thriller. So basically it's a liquid highlighter and it's so gorgeous. You only need to apply the tiniest little drops and I apply it on top of my MAC highlighter. And then with a brush I just blend it out. And it's so beautiful and you can even mix it with your uh, foundation in case you want that really glowy and radiant look so I am obsessed with this product I am loving my foundation and I already did a review on this foundation and I showed you tutorial as well demo how it looks on my face it's bourgeois healthy mix serum I am in a shade 52 vanilla and uh, I am obsessed with this because it's such a light weight, such a radiant, fresh texture uh, foundation that I am obsessed with. I am in love. I don't have enough 
positive words to say about this foundation you guys have to try it out it's made for all skin types but especially if your skin is on a drier side or now in colder period of the year it's fantastic to have this one um, it's quite long lasting it does not have this super amazing full coverage but it will just make your skin so beautiful and it will make you breathe and why am i doing a review on this product i already did a review so i will link it down below you can go and check it out but it's a fantastic product next is another makeup item that i keep repurchasing throughout the years and it's maybelline instant anti-age concealer um, this is almost a cult product everybody raves about it everybody loves it and um, I did my first review on this product like, I don't know, five or six years ago when it first came on the market and since then I keep repurchasing it basically. I love to use it in the lightest shade because I actually love to use it as my highlighter. I like to use it on my forehead, along the bridge of my nose, around my nose, on my chin and obviously um, under my eyes and even in my inner corner of the eyes because that will really brighten up my eyes and just make my under eye area look younger, fresh looking, more awake. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this. Next is this eyeshadow palette. It's Maybelline The Blush Nudes that I actually picked up this month and uh, since then I've been loving it. I've been using it on a daily basis. Well, except for today. I'm wearing something different on my eyes today, but I will show you these eyeshadows too. Uh, today I'm using this one, which is a highlighter in my inner corners and under my brow, but all the colors are so gorgeous and I actually filmed a tutorial and review on this palette. So it's coming up soon on my channel, I just need to edit it. Uh, with the makeup tutorials it's a little bit, um, you know, longer process of editing. So but Next are the eyeshadows that I'm wearing on my um, eyelids today and the tutorial should be up soon. Well, not with these particular shadows but with these colors more or less because I'm really into orange uh, eyeshadow look for the fall and winter season. I think it's so gorgeous. You know, just combining a bright orange with these earth colors, matte browns. I'm in love and I think it looks really great on blondes. So, uh, three eyeshadows that I'm loving at the moment for this particular makeup look are uh, Kiko eyeshadows and I picked them uh, when Kiko was having promotion on their eyeshadows so I think it was like 2 euros and 90 and their eyeshadows are amazingly pigmented, long lasting, such an amazing quality you know, I'm like wow uh, so uh, the orange one is number 44 um, then I'm also loving this like deep brown color which I love to put in my crease and then blend out and this one is shade 41 and these are all high pigment wet and dry eyeshadows so you can use them even wet for even more intense effect but I use them in a dry version and then this one which is like pretty um, like torta color and it's uh, number 46 just matte very very pretty everyday color Another product that I already featured here on my channel in a beauty haul and also in a tutorial and demo is this Benefit Cabrow. Everybody's wondering how to get brows on flick. Yeah, and I can say that since I purchased this product, I'm so much more pleased with the appearance of my eyebrows. Um, at first it seemed as if it's going to be a little bit challenging uh, to apply this product because I was using my eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows so I wasn't too skilled with these um, like brushes and cream, gel, uh, whatever for your eyebrows but actually this is so simple but I do have a review tutorial demo so I will link it down below uh, so I have this uh, Kiko um, eye pencil and it's actually amazing highlighter uh, I like to put it on my waterline to brighten up my eyes and to make them look even bigger than they actually are well my eyes are big as it is but I just love this fresh 
um, wake look that it gives this one is super soft and it's very long lasting and it's not too white it's like creamy white almost like rosy white so it's not too dramatic i have my favorite lipstick combo of the moment so it's this uh, kiko milano pencil in shade 303 and this is creamy color comfort lip liner I absolutely love these uh, lip pencils and I feel they are even better than MAC ones. Uh, these are so pigmented, long lasting, the color selection is amazing and this particular shade is one of my favorite ones. Next I have this lipstick by Kiko and again it's super inexpensive for what it actually is even the whole packaging is so innovative and very luxurious. So actually you're supposed to press it here and it pops up and it's Gossamer Emotion Creamy Lipstick in shade 104. It is a matte lipstick but it's very creamy, very hydrating on your lips, it feels very um, comforting and just very luxurious and it's a perfect everyday shade. It's not too nude but because I do enjoy this darker lip strand, I do enjoy these deeper brown colors, I picked this um, NYX Liquid Suede in shade 4 Soft Spoken and this is like um, liquid lipstick and it's matte but it's non-drying and it's super long lasting. I apply it uh, when I'm doing my makeup and throughout the day I find that I don't need to reapply it and I don't need to touch up with um, lip gloss because my lips aren't dry and the color is still you know very uh, pigmented so it's amazing um, and I like to use the combo of these three colors to get basically this lip. <laughs> I'm loving these three makeup brushes the most uh, so basically these are real techniques and this one is setting brush um, you can set your powder with it, you can set it under your eyes or uh, around your nose or on your T-zone but what I use this brush for is actually uh, to apply my liquid highlighter so I just dab my liquid highlighter on the top part of my cheekbones and it works perfectly for that um, but I would love to use it as a setting brush as well because I feel it will do a great job. Then a fan brush and uh, this fan brush I love to use for my soft and gentle uh, highlighter by MAC so I just uh, apply it like so and even like that on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead so yeah. Then I have the sculpting brush and I actually love to use it with my Too Faced bronzer. Um, I just find that it applies it so well. I don't think I would have such a great result with any other brush. <laughs> and I have my favorite lip balm possibly all times. I have to mention it. It's Nook's um, ultra nourishing lip balm uh, for dry or damaged lips uh, I use this uh, every morning, I use this before I go to sleep it's just such an amazing lip balm anything that has to do with honey I'm sold on it but this one is super nourishing and super moisturizing it's so amazing in this period of time cold winter days, windy days amazing product it will keep your lips so beautiful looking, so youthful, so plumped, nourished. I can't say enough about this product. The last beauty favorite is actually Elemis Gentle Rose Exfoliator Smoothing Skin Polished. Now this is just like a little sample size that I got uh, with uh, Beauty Magazine. It's only 15 milliliters, but it will last you for a couple of months even because um, you only need a tiny little bit of the product and you can use it like once or twice a week it's so gentle, it's exfoliator but it's so gentle on your face and it contains those microgranules but those microgranules actually feel very hydrating and very comforting on your face so it just makes your face very radiant looking and very smooth and just very youthful looking and uh, I like to use it like once or twice a week when I'm showering 
and it has got such an amazing rose scent it's like aromatherapy for me i love it um, i am definitely going to try and purchase it in a regular size because it's totally worth it and those were the products that i'm absolutely loving at the moment i'm sorry this was so long but i do have some products that let me down and i would quickly like to mention them as well now first is this Evelyn Cosmetics uh, exclusive hair oil 8 in 1 elixir of gold. I had really high expectations on this product uh, because it promises so much and you know just the packaging and everything it's so inviting I was like this is like liquid gold for my hair wow in my mind I was already comparing this to elixir KUL team and yeah but when I tried it out it left my hair super greasy and I used only one pump of it and it left it super greasy and oily and it was just horrible um, so I was so let down by this product it does smell really nice and all argan plus carotene uh, first product replenishing carotene loss uh, innovation intense regeneration whatnot but no no uh, so how i will be using this product at least i'm going to try is like pre-shampooing treatment because i do have my natural hair oils that i usually uh, use before shampooing my hair i like soak my hair in them i leave them for half an hour or even one hour and then i proceed on shampooing my hair and i will try to use this product like that i will just like soak my hair with this oil and then I will uh, wash my hair and see if I can somehow make it work that way but it definitely does not work as a styling product like no no stay away from it another product that uh, I actually have more of a technical difficulties with it than anything else is this uh, Balea heat protectant spray now it does protect your hair up to 220 Celsius which is really good very high protection it's super inexpensive exclusive to DMA drug stores but what I dislike about it is the dispenser basically um, you know these types of products were supposed to like vaporize uh, the product onto your hair so it distributes evenly so all your hair is protected while this one when you spray it it just comes out um, and it doesn't vaporize on your hair but it will just leave one strand of your hair soaked with this product the rest of your hair is left unprotected so you will have to do a lot of work with the brush and whatnot so it's a little bit difficult on a technical side but other product that i also wanted to love and i was ready to do a review on it and i will probably do more thorough review on it is this volume colorist by rimmel london mascara this is a mascara that is supposed to color your eyelashes like in the long run i think after two weeks of using it you should already be able to notice the results but uh, what i noticed was that this actually gives me allergic reaction and it happened twice already so it happened this summer i had to uh, take eye drops just to calm the irritation i wasn't thinking that it's this mascara causing it but i did stop using mascara for a while just to give a rest uh, to my eyes and after that uh, i started using this again recently and I noticed the same, the exact same problem again. So I'm pretty sure it's this mascara causing the irritation. So I stopped using it. I will be doing more thorough review on about it, but it's just a product that really disappointed me because I really wanted to love it. You know, when you really want to love a product and then it lets you down, you're kind of bummed about it. And the last product is the product that I bought uh, because uh, I want to review it. Um, I was very curious to see how this works and even though I heard some negative reviews when it comes to this particular shade like for blondes I still wanted to give it a go just to you know test it out just to make a review to show it better to you guys yeah it's not the best I think this one is designed for uh, natural blondes but whoever has darker roots uh, 
mm, it won't cover that much. It's supposed to retouch your regrowth and prolong the time uh, before you need to go to your hairdresser again. But uh, I feel it does not do much on my regrowth. Um, I will do a separate review to show you. But yeah, it will make it a little bit more um, grey. <laughs> yeah, uh, but definitely not blonde. And I feel this is designed for uh, blondes, like natural blondes, uh, to cover their regrowth. But if they are already natural blondes, I don't know what do they need to cover up. So, <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, guys, those were the products that I am loving at the moment. And also, there were some products that I'm not liking so much. Even though I am very selective when picking out my products uh, and I tend to love them all, there are still some products that I did not like as much as I wanted to. It happens, it happens. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, that it gave you some nice recommendations. Now I'm heading to All That Beauty with Lori's channel and I invite you all to do so as well. So show her some love and support. I'm sending you all a huge kiss from Italy and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Ciao!